Hello students, I am Ravi sir. In this video, we are going to see how to present the stencil maps for the seventh question. That is a four more questions. How to use the stencils. So this video, we are going to see only the seventh questions. That is a four more questions. How to use the stencils. In geography, taking India and Brazil's stencil is allowed. Okay, you can take and you can use it wherever it is necessary. Okay, this video has two parts, part one and part two. So in the first part, let us start with a model question, how to use the map. When you are presenting the stencil question, three important things you should not forget. Okay, all the stencil questions answer in the stencil, you should write the title, whether it is India or Brazil. Then you have to write the subtitle like Peninsula or this question is about explain the peninsula region of India. Then you have to write this. If it is forest, then you have to write forest. If it is about rivers, you have to write rivers here. So this is first thing you should not forget. Every stencil map it should be. Second one is you have to show the directions. So with the upward arrow with the letter capital N to show the north. This is the second thing you should not forget. In every map, it should be there. And the third one is map not to scale. Because stencil map cannot be so much accurate. So you have to write map not to scale. Okay, come. Now let's see. This is how your answer sheet is going to be. And you will write question number seven. Then the brief answers. You will write the heading of this. Then you will use your stencil. This question is about the explain the reverse of Brazil. This is an example. Okay. So you will draw the Brazil stencil with the help of the stencil you are taking. Then you can mark few rivers. So some important rivers you can show in that. Then you will start writing the answer here. Okay. And here also now your answer is over. So you have to draw the stencil of Brazil, then few important rivers like Amazon, Paraguay, Parana, Uruguay system, then São Francisco. These rivers you can show. Then you can start your presentation. Okay. Now this is lesson number two. So first one is that describe the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of India and Brazil. So you will draw the India map first with the help of stencil. Then you can draw the northernmost latitude and the southernmost latitude. You can write the degrees also. Then you have to mark Tropic of Cancer also. Then you will write the westernmost longitude, then easternmost longitude. Okay, you can show this in your map. In the same way, you can draw the Brazil's stencil also. Then you can show the northernmost latitude, then the southernmost latitude with the degrees. So here you have to write the degrees. Same way, yeah, you can show the equator, then Tropic of Capricorn, also the westernmost and here the easternmost longitudes. So this is how you can present the question. Okay. In the next question, we are going to the lesson number three. The question is about explain the characteristic features of the physical divisions of India. So as you know, there are five physical divisions. You can draw the stencil. Okay. Then you can show Himalayas, the first one. Then the North Indian plain, the second physical division. Then the peninsula region, third physical division. Then the West Coast and the East Coast. That's the coastal plains. Then Indian islands. Students, listen, the islands are not there in the stencil. So you have to draw yourself. Okay. Now, sometimes the question may be a particular question about the physical division. So this question is about um, explain the physical divisions of Himalaya. Then you have to write the characteristics of Himalaya only. Or explain the characteristics of the North Indian plain. Then you have to draw only the North Indian plain. Suppose the question is about explain the peninsula region. Then you have to mark only the peninsula region. 
or the question is about the coastal region, you can draw the coastal region, then differentiate the different colors with the west coastal plain and east coast. Okay. Then the last one is the islands. So you have to write here the Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal. Then you yourself have to draw the luxury islands and Bay of Bengal islands. Hope you understand, right? Now, <clears throat> India, sometimes the question, there is a question in your book about explain the characteristics of the Western Ghats. Then stencil you have to make, then you will draw only the Western Ghats. Sometimes the question is about compare the Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. Then you have to draw the Western Ghats here. Then you have to draw the Eastern Ghats also. Okay. Now, same way, Brazil physical divisions. Okay. The, your first year you have to make all the physical divisions. Suppose the question is general. Explain the physical divisions of Brazil. Then you may have to draw all the physical divisions. But if they are asking particularly, uh, there are five physical divisions like India. The first one is the Brazilian highlands. So if the question is about uh, explain the Brazilian highlands, then you have to mark the Guyana highlands and the Brazilian highlands. There are two highlands in Brazil. First one is the Guyana highlands and the Brazilian highlands. If the question is about the great escarpment, that is the second physical division, then you will show only the escarpment. You will draw the stencil first, then you will show only the escarpment. Or the question is about the coastal plains. As you know, there are two coastal plains like India. Uh, you can draw the first here, that's a North Atlantic coast. Then you can draw the East coast. Okay. Then the fourth physical division, the plains. So here two plains are the Amazon River Basin. Then you have the Paraguay Parana Basin. Also, you can mark Pantanal. Right? Then the islands. There are lots of islands, marine islands, as well as the river mouth islands. So you can draw the stencil of Brazil and the Marajo Island. That's the biggest river mouth island that you can show. Now, another question. Explain the major rivers of India. So you need not draw all the rivers, you have to uh, mark at least few important rivers. Say the Indus River, Brahmaputra River, Ganga, Yamuna and the second longest river in the area of catchment, uh, in respect of catchment area, that's a Godavari River. This also you can show. You need not show the, all the rivers, but few rivers you can uh, show that. Same way you should write the heading with subheading and here the direction and map not to scale. So these must be, these three things must be in all the maps. Okay. Now, sometimes they may ask only the Himalayan rivers, explain the Himalayan rivers. In that case, you have to show only few Himalayan rivers, Indus, Brahmaputra, Ganga and Yamuna. If the question is about explain the peninsula rivers, then few peninsula rivers you can show. So here Luni, Sabarmati, Narmada, Tapi, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri. So you can show in this way. Next one is the water divides. There is a question that which are the major water divides. So you know Himalaya is a water divide. So some Himalayan rivers are flowing in the westward and joining Arabian Sea. Some Himalayan rivers are flowing towards east, they are joining Bay of Bengal. Aravalli is also acting like the water divide between Luni River, it is flowing this side, and Banas River. Same way, uh, Vindhyas is acting like the water divide between Narmada and Ganga Basin. And as you know, the bigger water divide is the Western Ghats. So, westward flowing any two rivers, you can show. And eastward rivers, at least one river you can show. So this is how you can present the major water divides of India. Now, same way, they may ask, explain the major rivers of Brazil. So three major river system plus coastal rivers are there. So here you can draw Amazon River. Then you can show the Paraguay, Parana, Uruguay river system. Then you can show the 
South Francisco rivers. Children, these rivers can be useful or some of these maps will be very useful for your map marking also. Okay. Now, next one is the lesson four. The first one is compare the climate of India and Brazil. Okay. Now, in that case, you have to draw both the maps. So, you will first draw India stencil, then few information you can show in the map. For example, I have shown the low rainfall region and here I have shown the high rainfall region. Also, here the desert region, here the snowfall region. Then the orographic rainfall region, also two important winds which are bringing rainfall to India. That is the direction of southwest monsoon and the direction of northeast monsoon. If you want, you can show the temperature here, the high, higher temperature, and also you can show the lower temperature. So there is a question that uh, what changes you can see in the climate while you are moving from south to north. Okay, and as you know, Tropic of Cancer also plays a very important role in the climate of India. So if you want, you can mention this also. So at least two, three information, what you see here, you can present. Okay, next one is, so the same way, explain the climate of Brazil. If there is a question, then you have to draw Brazil stencil. Then you can show equator because the role of equator is very important in the climate. Then the role of Tropic of Capricorn. Then here the orographic rainfall region is there, broad quadrilateral, northeast trade wind and southeast trade wind. All these things you can show in the map in case of explain the climate of Brazil. Now, there is a question, explain the factors affecting the climate of Brazil. So which factors are affecting the climate of Brazil? So as you know, first one is equator, you'll mark here the equator which is causing the convectional rain. Then you will show the Brazilian highlands. This side, the great, great escarpment, which is causing uh, the orographic rainfall in the east coast. But this side, northeastern part, is the drought region. It's a drought quadrilateral. Then here, the northeast trade wind. Then southeast trade wind. So these are all you have to show in this map. Okay. Also, don't forget to write the title, subtitle, direction and map not to scale okay now the same way india there is a question explain the importance of himalayas and indian ocean in the climate of india now in that case you have to show the himalayas so here we are the western himalayas central himalayas and eastern himalayas then you have to mark the indian ocean with different color then in the index, you can write here Himalayas and here Indian Ocean. Then you can start writing your answer. Okay. Now, let's go to the lesson number five. Lesson number five is about the vegetation. Uh, understand clearly, vegetation means forest. It is nothing to do with the vegetables. Sometimes when the vegetation question is asked, students are writing about the vegetables. Here, vegetation means forest. Okay. Now, so here is the question, explain the forest types of India. Okay, so you can draw evergreen forest, then you have the deciduous forest, then you have thorny shrubs, then Himalayan forest, and the last one is a coastal forest. Try to make at least few forests, okay? Sometimes you may not be able to do all the things, but at least two, three forests you can show in the map and another question why does a deciduous forest type occupy most part of india so in that case you can draw the stencil then you can show some patches of deciduous forest only okay the question the same way they may ask uh, brazil also so in that case you have to mark all the forests of brazil so here we have the amazon that's the equatorial forest. Second one is the tropical grasslands. Tropical grasslands are known as savanna grasslands. Then we have the swampy land. So that is the Pantanal region. Then we have hot deciduous forest in this area. This is the second last one, Thani Shab. It's got 
it is called cutting up okay and the last one is the uh, temperate grasslands temperate grassland grasslands are called pampas so any one of these may come for the mark in the map also okay now any question about wild life of india so draw the india stencil then some animals okay for example assam is well known for the kaziranga is there by left century which is well known for one horn rhinoceros and here ganga dolphin gujarat deer forest lion then bengal tiger negri tar at least few animals you can show like this same way the question about the brazilian wildlife so you can show here the condor bird golden tamarind anaconda here as well as here then alligators then swordfish so few animals location you can show here okay and thank you for watching the part 1 let us continue with the part 2 hello students welcome back to part 2 about how to present the stencil map for your seventh question that is the four mark question so in this part two we are going to see the from sixth lesson to the ninth lesson okay this question is about population of india so any question about population of india you can draw the india stencil map then give the title india then subtitle as usual direction and also map not to scale okay so here you can show the most populated state that is up then least populated state that is sikkim then densely populated state bihar and low density state arunachal pradesh now you may have a doubt sir how do we know the shape of the states so there is a problem so don't worry the map will be given to you the mark in the map so there both india and brazil maps will be there with the state boundaries so you can copy or you can just uh, uh, look at the, those those maps and you can draw the states only thing is you should know the location of states the same way uh, you can answer the question about brazil population so here you can show amazonas and para which are low populated states also you can show sao paulo and Rio de Janeiro, where the population is more. Now, lesson number seven, which is about urbanization. Okay, and here again the question: write a comparative note of on urbanization in India and Brazil. In that case, you have to draw both the maps. You have to draw India, then show as you know Delhi is the most urbanized union territory. Then Goa is the most urbanized state. and you can give the index again heading subheading direction and the map not to scale the same way you can show brazil urbanization also title subtitle amazonas and para they are low urbanized states while sao paulo and rio de janeiro highly urbanized states so at least two to states you can show for this okay now if the question is only about india that is india urbanization then again you can show delhi as well as goa or the question about only brazil urbanization explain the urbanization of brazil in that case you have to show only brazil that is amazonas and para low urbanized states sao paulo and rio de janeiro highly urbanized states okay so in this way you have to present now the question is about ganga river basin okay so you can draw ganga river then you can draw basin ganga river basin and the question is compare the population density or urbanization in ganga river basin as well as uh, amazon river basin so you have to show you have shown india already then you have to show the amazon river basin so this is amazon and this is amazon river basin so you can show both the nations next one is le lesson number 8 
So lesson number eight, the first one is about agriculture. So explain the agriculture in Brazil. So you can show few major crops, rice, coffee, then soya bean. So few places you can show rice cultivating areas, soya bean cultivating areas, then coffee cultivating areas. So as you know that Brazil is a coffee part of the world. Okay, and the next one is about the mining activities in Brazil. So few important minerals you can show as well as few places also where they are available. So the first one is manganese, then iron ore, bauxite, coal. You may not be able to show all the places and all the minerals, but at least some major places and some minerals you can show. Then next one is the what are the similarities and differences in the fishing activities of India and Brazil? So first you will show Brazil fishing. Okay, North Atlantic Ocean, one of the major fishing grounds. Then here the South Atlantic Ocean. So another important fishing ground. As you know, two currents are meeting here. So Falkland cold current and the Brazil warm current. So this is also one of the major fishing grounds. And the same way you can show the Indian fishing grounds also. So here we have the Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean. So the major fishing grounds you can show in the map. Okay, this is a year to present. Now, if the question is about only the fishing activities of Brazil, then you have to show only the Brazil, major fishing grounds are not or the question is about only the major fishing activities okay of india then you have to show only the indian fishing grounds major fishing grounds you have to show here this is how you have to present now india mining activities so india mining activities you have to show the major uh, minerals as well as important places. As you know, Digbo is well known for mineral oil. Again, Mumbai High is well known for mineral oil. India's mineral rich plateau, that is Chotan of the plateau, you can show. Then coal, major coal available area, that is Korba in Chhattisgarh. So few places you can show. So the question is about India agriculture. Again, like Brazil, you can show major crops here. Tea, coffee, rice, wheat, and sugarcane. So some major places you can show. So Punjab is well known for rice and wheat. UP, rice, sugarcane, wheat. Assam is for tea. West Bengal is for rice. Maharashtra, sugarcane. And here coffee and tea. Okay, so you can mark few places. Next one is lesson number nine. So this is the last one. And here the question about some major airports and ports of India. So here the question is about explain the major transportation about India. Okay, then you can show some of the railway stations, major railway stations, uh, major airports, major ports you can show here. So in case of Delhi, here we are the railway station as well as airport. In case of Mumbai, we are the port, airport as well as railway station. Kandla port of Malmey in Gujarat, very important one. The same way, at least few places you can show. Next one is, the question is about map question. Sometimes they're asking uh, the map question, major airports in India, maybe Delhi airports or Mumbai airports or Kolkata or Chennai, you should be able to mark. Next one is, same way, transportation in Brazil. So you can show the Trans-Amazonian Highway from Cruzeiro do Sul to Brasilia. Also, you can show few important ports. Here we have the Porto Alegre, Rio de Janeiro. Then you can show few airports also. Okay, so this is how you can present. Next question is about some important tourist places. So, some famous, not all, but some famous tourist places you can mark. Srinagar, Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, Agra, Ajanta, Ellora, Uti, Darjeeling. So at least few places you can show. But don't forget to write title, subtitle, direction, and map not to scale. The same way you can show in Brazil also. So here the Manas 
port is there, one of the famous tourist place. Then Brasilia, the new capital, another important tourist place. Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and Casino Beach. So like there's few uh, important tourist places you can show. Now, waterways in Ganga as well as Amazon. So you have to show Ganga River in India. And the same way Amazon River in Brazil, then you can make a comparative note. Okay. Now, question is about ISG or Mark ISG. Or the question may be Mark Brazilian Standard Time. So, some the, here the question about what is the importance of Standard Time. Or compare the Indian Standard Time and Brazilian Standard Time. So, in that case, you have to draw India stencil, then you have to draw IST. You have to write the degrees also, 82 and half degree east. Then you will mark Brazil's stencil also. Then you will make BRT, that's a Brazilian standard time. Then you will write a comparative notes. IQP for Standard 10th is now available in English, Marathi and semi-English medium. So rush to your nearest bookstore now or order online. So aaj hi kharidiye aapka apna IQB aur SSE ko banaye ek dam tension free.